Hello, this is Das. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be talking about um, PSPP for uh, Windows. Um, actually, PSPP uh, is a free alternative for SPSS. So you know that SPSS um, is not free of cost, um, but PSPP is, uh, is a free software. So if you search this uh, in uh, your search engine, uh, for example, Google, and then you'll find the link uh, to the download page. So uh, it will direct you to the download page. Here you can see the different uh, versions. Um, also, uh, the, 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 the software for different uh, operating system. So there is uh, Windows as well. So if you click on the installer, then it will be uh, directed towards the download links. So there are uh, installers for 32-bit operating system Windows as well as 64-bit system. So if you click on the latest version, then um, your software will be downloaded and then uh, saved uh, to certain location. So, so this is the software uh, for 64-bit operating system, which is uh, approximately 40 uh, megabytes. So, uh, if you install this software, uh, then um, then if you if you install and run this uh, software um, with the help of this um, icon, which is on the desktop, uh, as well as uh, start menu. Uh, then um, if you open that uh, software, this is similar to SPSS. So there is uh, this uh, data view, and there is this uh, variable view. There, uh, if you see the menus, these are these are similar to SPSS. For example, if you go to analyze, you can see descriptive statistics, then frequency, descriptive explore, cross tabs, and under compare means there are several options. So this pretty much does a good job of uh, doing the analysis statistical analysis and uh, it's a free alternative to SPSS. It doesn't expire um, and also one thing uh, it supports SPSS files as well. For example, if you click on this open menu and then uh, if you go to uh, if you locate one one of the SPSS files, for example, um, for example, um, if you go to program files and then under this uh, SPSS folder, there are uh, several samples. Um, of SPSS, for example, let's um, select uh, one of the one of the samples. Um, let's say um, let's say this uh, demo dot SAV. This SAV are the SPSS files. These are the data files. So if you select that file and then click on open, um, then you you notice that uh, this PSPP is opening the SPSS files, right? So yeah, in, in the data view, you, you'll have the data, and in the variable view, you'll have a list of variables. It's similar to SPSS, and it supports all the files um, uh, that, uh, that SPSS uses. So you can do the analysis by going to analyze, and then uh, go to distribute statistics, and then frequencies. For example, you want to know the frequency of a marital status, and then, um, then you can uh, can turn off uh, unnecessary statistics um, and then click on OK. So uh, you, you'll notice uh, the output in this uh, output window. So you notice that uh, this uh, uh, married and unmarried, their frequency and their percentage, their valid percent and the cumulative percentage. So similar to um, the space is pretty much. I think um, uh, I've used this software for, for over a year now and I find it very useful. Um, particularly when you can't afford to uh, buy uh, the expensive software like SPSS. So I've been using both the software and I find that this PSPP can be a very good alternative to SPSS. So, uh, so uh, I have put the link uh, in the description regarding the download page of this uh, software from which you can download the software and then try yourself. Thank you.